What is up? Not much here. Everybody, I'm a robot. I'm just kidding. I'm not a robot. Okay, great start today. <laughs> okay. All right. So what we have here is I've got a question from an old ACT test. So ACT prepping you up. Um, let's go. Abandoned mines frequently fill with water. Before an abandoned mine can be reopened, the water must be pumped out. The size of a pump required depends on the depth of the mine. If pumping out a mine that is D feet deep requires a pump that pumps a minimum of D squared over 25 plus 4D minus 250 gallons per minute, pumping out a mine that is 100 feet deep would require a pump that pumps a minimum of how many gallons per minute? <sighs> okay, um, first off, let's break it down and get rid of the junk, okay? We don't need this. Let's get a, let's get a better pen. Get this off, this, 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 and this. None of that matters, okay? If pumping out a mine that is D feet deep, okay, so D is our feet deep, okay, requires a pump that pumps a minimum of this, okay, gallons per minute. All right, now, what they've given us is they've given us a quadratic equation, which means that it's got a squared in there, which means it's quadratic, okay? Which a lot of times means that you're probably going to have to, like, find the zeros of the function, which would be where it's going to cross, like, the line's going to cross, like, here and here. But guess what? We don't want that right now, okay? So we're not going to do that because I read the rest of it. It says pumping out of mine is 150 feet deep. Would require a pump that pumps a minimum of how many gallons per minute. So with the minimum of how many gallons per minute, guess what? Minimum of gallons per minute. They've already given us the equation. Very sweet of them. Those ACT people, they are the sweetest and kindest little gentlemen and gentle ladies in the world. Okay, and we've already found our feet deep. D, feet deep is 150. So guess what we're going to plug in for D? Um, hint, hint, we're plugging in 150 because that's what they told us it is. Squared over 25. And then after that, you're just solving it. Now, could you put all this in your calculator and then just see what the answer is? Yes, you most certainly could. But would I recommend it? No. Because do you see all these fractions and exponent, or sorry, all these division, division lines, let's make them a fraction, exponents, plus signs, multi, you know what I mean? There's order of operations here, and there's so many areas that you could mess up. Just like when you do the distance formula all in your calculator at once, a 90 I would say 90, about 60% of the time, it's going to mess it up if you don't put the right amount of parentheses or something over another one. Because when you put this in there, you're going to have to put parentheses, parentheses, that, parentheses, and then it'll do order of operations. But if we just break it into three chunks and then solve it, it's going to be easier for us because we'll have less areas to mess up. Okay, and this is ACT, brother. You want to make uh, a 36 on it or at least a high 30s? You want to go to college for free? And live out those four years playing intramural sports and saying, oh, that girl's pretty, but not dating her because you don't have good confidence. Okay, Dad, shut up. All right, let's work this. Okay, um, we're plugging in. We've already plugged in 150 in for all our Ds. So all we got to do is solve this and we have our answer. All right, so we got to do the first part, 150 squared. That's uh, 22,500. All right, over 25 plus. Can I go ahead and do this middle part? Show enough, shouty. So uh, I know 150 times 2 is 300, and then I'm just going to double that because I'm just talking. I'm just working it out. You could just do 4 times 150. So that'll be 600 minus 250. Okay, now let's simplify this one a little more. It's going to be 900 plus 600 minus 250, and then we know we can just work that out. That'd be 900 plus 600 which is 1,500 minus 250, which is 1, 2, 5, 0. Is that an answer? dun da 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 Oh, not going to go. Oh, not going to go. Oh, okay, let's circle it. D is the answer. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us on this plane ride. Please put your seat back in the upright position and buckle your seatbelt. We're going to be landing in Awesomeville shortly. Congratulations, everybody. Remember, if you make it 36, you got to send me the checks for all of your tuition that you're saving money on. Look, it's for the... Okay, 50% off, okay? Take 50% off. Send me the check. Um, I think we're done. Hit them with the uh, uh, out, out, outro. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com. All right, check out the Facebook page if you want to tweet me some questions or follow me on Twitter or you can check out my other YouTube, check out the website, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>
subscribe to this channel and tell your friends and your mom and your friends depends.